I bet you know everything you ever want to know about this, the 2015 Honda Pilot. It's been around a half a dozen years, but do you know everything you ever want to know about this, the brand new 2016 Honda Pilot? And that is coming up right now on the Fast Lane Car. Uh, my name is Mark Ernst. I am the development lead uh, for the 2016 Honda Pilot and I'm a chief engineer at Honda Research and Development. Honda recently hosted us at the Kentucky Speedway to drive and review the brand spanking new 2016 Honda Pilot. However, much of the information from this program like driving impressions, MPG and even pricing is embargoed. But a lot of it is already on Honda's website. So we wanted to be the first to give you as much information as we could about the brand spanking new 2016 Honda Pilot. So one of the cool things about the new Pilot obviously is and let's start with the obvious, the styling, right? We're standing next to the old one, very boxy, very functional. Mm -hmm. And the new one, the exact opposite, right? It's uh, modern, it's sleek. So tell me, what was the design inspiration? How did you come to this kind of shape? Well, it's definitely a family vehicle. And we wanted to make sure that after you drop the kids off at soccer or, or running your errands, that it's also, it's now a reflection of you. It's your vehicle. So it, you want it to be, have personality. So we wanted it to be modern and sleek but we didn't want to lose any of the capability of the current pilot. And of course, the big difference is also under the hood. 250 horsepower, 280 horsepower, six speed, and in this elite version, nine speed. Tell me about the nine speed transmission. Um, so this is, uh, I'll get to that. This is a 3.5 liter direct injected IV tech with variable cylinder management engine. So it does run in six cylinder or three cylinder mode for better fuel economy. Uh, on the upper grades, we are introducing a nine-speed transmission. Uh, that gets paired with a new electronic push-button shifter, uh, paddle shifters in the steering wheel for quick shifting, and idle stop capability, again, for fuel economy. We're trying to balance performance and fuel economy for the, for the customer. All right, let's get into kind of the nitty gritty of this thing. Tell me about what, first of all, I'll give you the softball question, okay? Chief Engineer, what are you the proudest of? Well, there's yeah, a lot. One thing, yeah. Well, there's a lot of things yeah. I'm really proud of. I'm really proud of the performance of the engine and yeah. the chassis all working together. Uh, again, really great acceleration performance. A really great new iVTM4 rear differential uh, that's a lot quicker, better response time, and a lot more torque capability. We paired that with a brand new intelligent traction management system. Uh, with a push of a button, you go from normal to snow to sand to mud. Uh, it really improves that capability. It's safe and convenient on any weather condition on all roads. So obviously, uh, train management is something that's been around for a while. How, what's kind of the Honda spin on it? You're a very engineering driven company. What makes you different than, for instance, the Explorer, which also has it, and the Pathfinder? Well, we started with great hardware, a great engine, a powerful, amazing engine, an efficient uh, transmission, and a quick responding uh, rear differential. You pair that with software, and the software is designed to really take advantage. Uh, it changes based on the conditions, based on the button you pick. The drive-by-wire setting, it's how it responds to the accelerator pedal, also the transmission, whether it holds a gear longer to give you more torque, uh, turning on or off the traction control system to allow uh, wheel spin if it's needed in a sandy condition or something like that, um, and also the four-wheel drive system, whether it doesn't require the front to spin to have torque starting in the rear from the very beginning. Now, a lot of companies, your competitors, do torque vectoring, right? And the way that they do that is usually when you're coming around a curve and you know the, the car senses that your steering wheel is this way but the car is going straight, what it'll do is it'll brake the inside wheels. Is that how your system works or is it different? Well, you know, their systems use the, use the brake and that robs a little bit of the power and the sure. torque. Yeah, yeah, uh, our system has a electronically controlled uh, uh, rear clutch, dual clutch, hydraulic clutch system. So we do have torque vectoring but it uses all the power and torque 
It transfers it to the outside tire when it's needed. It's good in low speed to power you, uh, even in low speed in the snow, to get you to the right direction and be safe and convenient, but on higher speeds on an on-ramp going onto the freeway. Same, same both conditions. So it's better, I guess, in both inclement weather, in yeah. performance. All situations, and it keeps your, keeps your speed up. So you can respond easily. It works really, it's integrated really well with the whole vehicle. Let's, let's, let's pop it open and let's take a look in the inside. Uh, you know, one of the thoughtful features that I found right away were those armrests. I know that's not a high tech, but it's nice to have an armrest. But let's talk about, obviously, the most different thing in this vehicle is the push button transmission. Tell me how that works and why did you decide to go to a push button? Uh, the push button uh, transmission, it really helps. It looks modern. It's the newest thing, uh, but it also gives you a lot more space. It does. Yeah, there's no big lever to get in your way. Exactly. It's not in your way. And, and you know, when you think about cargo, uh, it's not just second and third in the back. It's also the front. They need to have space. They've got uh, smartphones, electronic devices. They've got their, their coffee cups. They need storage space. So it really makes use of that whole area to have easily accessible uh, anything you could possibly get to. The center console, when the lid is closed, uh, it's really stylish, but it's also easy to clean and it's a nice shelf uh, where you can put a fast food bag or you can put a purse for easy access while you're driving. And I noticed that inside there you can also put an iPad, right, if you need a lot of space. Uh, today's modern buyer, especially one that has kids, is going to need a lot of power. Did you think of that? For you know, electronics, for iPads, right, right. For phones? A lot of power. Everybody needs it. Everybody's got a smartphone. I know in my family we've got four people. Every time we get in the car we all need to charge. Uh, we're offering up to five USBs and four of them have 2.5 amp charging. Uh, that allows the, the smartphone to charge faster uh, but it also allows an iPad or up to four iPads to charge all at the same time while you're using it. You know what? I found also something in here that's really cool. It's a little button you push to move this second row of seats, right? Yeah, let's check that out. Yeah, yeah it's pretty cool. There's this little button here, all you do is push it. Look at that. <laughs> it just pops right forward. Is, is that actually electric or is it just spring-loaded? Um, it's spring-loaded with yeah. a, a servo motor that, that releases the, uh, the stay. So there's a button here on the, on the lower side, oh, yeah. and there's Same a button way. here up on the top. And at night, when you open the door, that lights up. So it's really easy to find, and it's something so simple that even a child can do it and, and enter themselves. So if you're coming out of some place and you're carrying things and you're like, kids, get in the car, uh, they can do that by themselves while you're loading uh, the groceries or something. Uh, and it's just really convenient. And on this Elite model, I also noticed there's a massive panoramic sunroof for the folks in the back so that you don't feel quite as claustrophobic. Yeah, definitely. We, we wanted to introduce the first time on the Pilot uh, panoramic roof. Uh, it's separated from the sunroof. There's still the front sunroof and a separate back panoramic roof and in the ceiling, a uh, ceiling mounted rear entertainment center, which is one of the things that is still really wanted for families. Uh, by separating them, they've got separate shades. So uh, if the kids want to have the panoramic roof open, uh, not completely open, but just the shade open, then the uh, driver can kill, still keep theirs closed. Otherwise, if it's one big one, you have to Right, have it. everybody can do what they want. Right. I love this, this is my favorite, I, lo I love, that's luxury. See, that is luxury, look at that. That is so nice with families, <laughs> especially with, with uh, children in, in car seats or whatever. If you want them to keep sleeping, you don't want the sun to be shining on them and, and bothering them. All right, let's, let's look at the back. Uh, obviously, these are about utility. That's right. They're about how much stuff you can get in side. So tell me about kind of how you thought through that. So we wanted to maximize the utility in a special cargo space, but we wanted to keep it simple. Yep. So there's a lot of great storage spaces on the two sides. Uh, this is big enough for a gallon jug of milk. Um, one of the cool new features we, we created was a reversible cargo lid. And it's not just reversible, but it's got two uh, positions. So on one side, it's also super light. On one side, it's just a carpet. On the other side, it's an easy to clean uh, plastic surface. That's uh, cool. So if some milk spills and you're taking groceries home, it doesn't necessarily get into the carpet and stink up the whole oh, thing. Oh, that's exactly right. And, and if you uh, come back from skiing or at the beach and you want to throw things in, it doesn't have to get all over everywhere. This is the upper position, uh, which allows for hidden storage. But you can also use a lower position. It locks right in. When it's in this position, you can put an 82-quart cooler right in this space and not have any impact to the third-row passenger. And how about folding down those 
third row seats, pretty straightforward? It's pretty straightforward. We don't have a bunch of different latches. There's just one strap that does it all. So with the first pull, it just lowers the headrest. You can also just drop it right down. There you go. Yeah, nice, nice and simple. Yep, and when right. you pull it back up, same thing. It's built exclusively in Lincoln, Alabama. Okay, all right, so it's a locally designed, right? That's right, <laughs> designed, styled in Los Angeles, uh, designed in Ohio, and built in Alabama. And have you released pricing yet? Uh, we have not released pricing at this point. Um, we do have a brand new uh, eight inch uh, touchscreen display audio system. I saw that cleaned up. The old one had like 8,000 buttons. Yeah, and this really cleans it up. It does still keep the climate control separate, but that new display audio system, it's an Android operating system based uh, a system, and it's now paired with Garmin navigation, and it has some great new Sirius XM features. It's all the technology that's easy to use, and, and it's going to make it great for families. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate you taking the time thank and you. chatting with us. And this has been another everything you ever wanted to know. And if there's other questions that you have, put them in the comments and maybe we can answer them. See you next time. Ciao. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another TFL Mega Mashup. And I'm here in Kentucky where Honda flew me down here to drive, well, the brand new 2016 Pilot. But we're going to mash it up with competitive cars. And to my left is the brand new Ford Explorer, the brand new Toyota Highlander. The Nissan Pathfinder, it's a long way. The Chevy Traverse, here we have another Explorer. And get this, they even provided us with the 2015 Pilot. But the car that we really want to drive is this one, the brand new 2016 Pilot. And coming up next on the Fast Lane car, we're going to take all of these for a ride and give you a quick review. And that is going to take a lot of work, but that is coming up next.